everybody. Welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. I'm here with Justin Gary of Stoneblade Entertainment, and you've got some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, show, right? yeah, it's a really exciting show for us. We have, you know, essentially released, we first announced it at this very show five years ago, and now we are releasing... I'm feeling old. Yeah, no, me too. You're telling me. <laughs> yeah. I look around, I see everybody I've known for way too long at this point. But uh, we find, you know, we released a year one collector's edition to commemorate the first year of Ascension. It's the highest quality product that I've ever been a part of creating. I'm really, really proud of it. It includes all the products from the first year, so the, the, the base game product with about Slayer, Return of the Fallen, all the promos we released that year. All the promos, uh, all the, promos the promo packs, everything. Wow, great and, way to get everything. Right? Yeah, exactly. If you're either, whether you're, you know, new to the game or you're a big fan, uh, it's a great thing to buy because all the cards are foiled and like really gorgeous individual looking cards. Uh, so it's like really cool shiny foil cards. Uh, it's got a custom carry case inside. It's nice tin. Uh, a little light there's, there's a separate case yeah, in yeah. the tin. Let me see. I'll, take no, this I'll, show, you. I'll show you this thing too. Right. So it actually is for people that just want to carry it and take it with them. You don't have to carry the whole tin around. Uh, you can carry this little case and it's got dividers. You can add extra sets in and you know sit and carry it whatever you want. So it just this was a product like I would have wanted if I was just a player, and so I kind of brought that to life here. I've got to say you got to be kind of excited too, right? Because obviously. This been your baby for five years. For five years. So this is kind of like a little crown on that team, Well, right? you know, I told this story uh, before, but basically, you know, I, I put all of my life savings into launching Ascension. I had nothing, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to have to build my house out of Ascension boxes right. uh, when it came over, and, you know, it, it, it took off and was so much more successful than I could have had. And to be able to come back and revisit it and, in this really premium way and have so many fans out there that love it and keep playing the game year after year, it's, it's, but it, you know, it's, it's made my life. It's, and, and, and these, the cards, because you updated uh, the look over time, right? Yeah, exactly. And, and so we also, in addition to this, we re-released uh, the base game. This is the third edition now. Uh, so we actually have that here, too. Excellent. Oh, um, and it's, uh, it's, we updated all the art. We updated the frames. Uh, so it's like a much cleaner look, much easier to kind of, and it syncs with the most recent sets we've done, uh, Realms Unravel. And then the brand, the newest set that's actually releasing next month uh, is Dawn of Champions. And so all of the sets now, and when we do the reprints of all of them, we all match up. And Perfectly play. compatible. Yeah, everything's 100% compatible. You can mix and match and shuffle them. Of course, if you don't want to bother with shuffling, then you have the iPhone, iPad, Android, and now PC apps. Uh, so you can actually play it against friends yeah. online. You're all about it. Uh, playing. So, yeah, so <laughs> a lot of people we see, uh, you know, when they're just like around at the convention, or I see them playing it on their phone and stuff, and that's really, you know, just great. For me, my love is always uh, in the physical game itself, sure. and being yeah. able to play and sit around a table with friends. And so it's now a nice alternative when you're on the move. And you know, oh, yeah. Sometimes, you know, the different, I, when I made Ascension, it was, uh, you know, it's, it was the fastest deck building game out there. And it was, you know, I, I kind of joked that you could like play an entire game in the time it took you to set up a game of Dominion. Right. Uh, but that was still, True. you know, it's still a half an hour yeah. experience. Now I can play it in five minutes on my phone and, right. or take a turn in, you know, two seconds and then take another turn later when I'm free. So that kind of, you know, just in our modern day life, that kind of thing is incredibly helpful. So now you can play it however you want. Super premium edition that's going to take you, you know, half an hour to an hour to play. A little thing on your phone that's totally free that you can just play for two right. minutes and, you know, it's whatever. For you. And I think people would like to know, are you living in a house made of essential No, I have a real, I have a real apartment anyway that I'm Good. living in. Good. And, and so thank goodness and, you know, we're, we're doing okay. So. And I'll bet that's allowing you to move forward and stuff. Because this is, you know, collector's edition, right? You've got the release of the new, what's, or the old, what's the new? Well, so the new, so Dawn of Champions is the newest expansion that we're releasing uh, recently, next month in April. Uh, and it has, it's the first time ever that in Ascension you can have uh, players start from a different position. Uh, everybody gets a champion card at the beginning of the game right? that uh, is in front of you, and you get special powers as the game progresses um, that's different for each player. So it's a really cool uh, way to shake it up after five years of playing Ascension. Now you can actually start in different places, and, uh, and it still uses the really popular um, Faction Matters mechanic uh, in the last set, Realms Unravel. We had multi-faction cards and multi-unite. Um, now we actually have multi-faction uh, constructs and multi-faction monsters so that they're like corrupted versions of the heroes that were there. Uh, and it all plays into the core mechanic uh, where getting cards of the same faction is really, really helpful. Really powerful. So it's, it's super fun. Uh, you know, it's still a core game of Ascension, but we really have tried to kind of push it in, uh, in a different direction to like make it different and make it really Right, exciting. keep innovating it, right? So the exactly, exactly. Like, you know, I, you know, I, I, I get bored doing the same thing over and over again. I like to have variety and stuff. I love the core mechanics of Ascension, but I always want to try something new and try something different. So whether you're brand new to the game, you can try this out. It's a standalone game, uh, but it, I think long-term Ascension is really good. Well, you, you mentioned like variety, right? Yes. So, you have Ascension. I do. Is there anything else? 
So I'm glad you asked. Uh, <laughs> Boy, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Um, so of course, you know, we have Soul Forge, which is a digital right. fucking right. game we've had around for years, which I co-designed with Richard Garfield. That's continuing to grow. We're, we just released our fifth set on that. Um, I'm but, a backer. Yeah. yeah. So thank you. Yeah, you uh, and uh, and that's been a, a, a great thing. But this show right now, this week, is the first time we've announced our first new physical game since Ascension released five years ago. Right. Uh, and that game is called Bad Beats. Uh, B e e t s. Like uh, the vegetable. Like the vegetable, and it's a bluffing deception game about uh, trying to not have to eat your vegetables. And the first person to get all the vegetables off their plate wins. Uh, and it's a really fast game; it takes less than ten minutes to play. Uh, and it's it's super fun, uh, very accessible for you know families and kind of dumb gamers. But uh, a lot of depth of strategy uh, with your social group about when to bluff and when to kind of like try to sneaky do stuff. And it's a lot of fun. So is this something that is is out now? It's no, no, out it's, now. Not, it's, it's, the... it's not coming out. It's coming out this summer. Okay. Um, so this is. The, like nobody's heard about this, you know, prior to this week, which right. is for the first time showing it off. Um, I definitely want to, you know, show you some of the cards and show you some of these mechanics. I'm um, really, uh, it's a, it's a very different thing than the kind of dragons and warriors type themes we've done before. But uh, if you like Ascension, I have a pretty good sense you're gonna like uh, Bad Beats, and it's something that you can use to bring your, your non-gamer friends slowly right. over into the gaming world. Um, uh, you know, because it's just so, so quick and so easy to play. Would you like to go take a look uh, at it right now? Let's do that right okay, now. Okay, let's do it. All right. So, this is uh, Bad Beats. It is a game about lying and not having to eat your vegetables. Uh, everybody uh, starts with eight beats on their plate. Uh, there are these cute little tokens over here. Uh, and then you are trying to get rid of them. Uh, on your turn, you do things to get rid of them. Now, you can eat a beat, which just gets rid of one beat. That's okay, but not really the type of thing you want to do. Or you can use cards to do sneaky things. Things, uh, to try to get rid of them. The way you get cards is every player has one card in their hand. You're going to get past a card from the player to your right. You pick the card you want to keep, and then you pass the other card to the player to your left. Then you get to declare what action you want to take. Well, the types of things you can do are you can share by giving two beats to a friend. You can feed the dog and get rid of three beats. You can also uh, tattletale on somebody else, which means if you can guess which card they have, uh, you get to give them four beats. Uh, now, my card's face down when I tell you what I'm doing. So, I could totally be lying to you. If you think I'm lying, you can call me out. If you call me out, I have to reveal the card. If I'm lying, then I lose my turn, and you actually get to get rid of a beat, because mom's happy that you, you know, stopped me from doing stuff. However, if you were tattling on me and you were wrong, you have to take an extra beat, because clearly you were doing something wrong, and my turn goes through as normal. And that's really the basics of the game. There's two extra cards that happen, uh, that have abilities when it's on your opponent's turn. Um, there's a card, if anybody plays Feed the Dog, and you have Copycat in your hand, you can immediately reveal it and get rid of two beats. And then my personal favorite card, nuh -uh. If somebody tattle, if you can trick somebody into tattletailing on you, and you have nuh -uh, instead of them giving you four beats, you reveal it and you give them four beats. Uh, and it is some of the most like exciting, uh, dramatic moments of the game that you can pull it off. And that's it, you play the first person to get rid of their beats, gets to go have ice cream, uh, and they are the winner of the game. All right, now you couldn't see, because I was behind the camera, and I was probably shaking it a bit because I was giggling and smiling through that whole presentation. That sounds absolutely delightful. So does the artwork, it's really yeah. nice as well. It's yeah. really nice. It's, you know, it's a little bit of a change from the uh, the dragons and monsters it, it is, uh, that yeah. we, uh, we usually have, but it's, it's great. It makes it much more accessible. You can play it with friends, you can play it with family. Uh, but you still have that lying, bluffing kind of strategy element that keeps it fun. We play it nonstop around the office. Yeah. Uh, and so this is, you know, the first time we're showing it off, it's not releasing until the summer, but this is the first time we've been able to get a demo to you and to, to your, you know, your watchers and viewers. And so hopefully, uh, you know, people will enjoy it. And, uh, That's really exciting. And I like, I like the theme of it because, um, you know, we've done done the spies and the werewolves and the, all the different kinds of archaic things yeah. right, that you can do when you bluff games. And here you go, very accessible. Everyone has yeah. had vegetables they did not want to eat. <laughs> That's right. I haven't always been in the mob. I mean, occasionally, of course, everyone's been in the mob occasionally. But we all can relate to this. Yep, yep. It's been, it's been good. And I've, you know, I've had friends who've done exactly, you know, their kids have fed vegetables to the dog and like, right. lied about it. And I'm like, all right, this is it. This is our theme. We're making it happen. And so I'm super excited about it. I really think people are going to love it. Uh, you know, we've got, it's it's a short game, you know, it takes 10 minutes to play, right. so it's the kind of thing you can play in between other games, and you can play it when you're out and doing stuff, uh, so uh, I really am looking forward to seeing people react to it already, it's been a big hit at the show here, uh, and uh, since it's our first game and we've released in five years, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm really excited to have it. I can tell you, and I'm excited for you, it's, <laughs> it's infectious, what can I say, <laughs> and I look forward to seeing how it does. Justin, thanks so much for showing us all the cool stuff you guys have coming out, plus this, excellent time, thank awesome. you. Awesome, thank you so and, much. And thank you guys for watching.